I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review of the Red Rock 4x4 Rock Crawler Rear Bumper with Tire Carrier fitting all 1987 to 2006 Wranglers. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the construction, the features, and of course the installation of this bumper and carrier kit. This bumper is for those of you who want to get your larger and heavier than factory spare tire off of your spare tire mounting location of the tailgate and put it onto a bumper mounted tire carrier that's going to handle that additional weight and size a little bit better. This setup is going to be less expensive than a lot of the other bumper tire carrier combinations on the market because it isn't quite as fancy and doesn't have quite as many features and as much adjustability. But if you're just looking for something to move the tire onto a tire carrier that isn't going to damage your tailgate and you're not interested in a ton of additional features, this will save you some money over those top brands on the market. This bumper is made from a 3 16 inch steel and it's covered in a textured black powder coat that will resist rust and corrosion, as well as matching a lot of other aftermarket cheap parts and the factory black plastic accents on your Wrangler. Now, as I mentioned, this doesn't have quite as many features as some of the other tire carriers and or bumpers on the market. As you can see here, there are no D-ring mounts. It does not include D-rings for recovery points. However, it does have a two inch receiver in the center that can be used for recovery purposes. The tire carrier is built the same way as the bumper and it is going to be plenty strong. And one thing I really like about it is the way that the carrier itself attaches to the spindle. First off, the spindle is greasable, which is a nice way to make sure that your tire carrier stays easy to open and close. However, if you do neglect the spindle and it does start to get rusty, all you need to do is loosen the two clamp bolts, remove the tire carrier, clean up the spindle, grease it properly, and put everything back together. Those tire carriers that are a solid circle that slide onto the spindle, if they do get rusty, sometimes it can be very difficult, if not impossible, to remove the carrier from the spindle, making it usable again. One of the areas of this carrier that does leave a little bit to be desired, but is also a way that they're able to keep the cost down, is on the latching mechanism. A lot of the more expensive tire carriers on the market, even some from Rugged Ridge, Smittybill, Barricade, will have a latch mechanism with a handle that allows you to more easily unlatch and latch and keeps everything tight and rattle free. This latch, it does rattle a little bit out of the box and when you put a tire on it, it'll probably make even a little bit more noise. And the locking mechanism for this is a hitch pin that will need to be removed and reinstalled every time you open and close the tailgate. One other area of this tire carrier that I want to talk about is right up here, the tire mount itself. It is in two pieces. The tire mount does adjust in and out, which allows you to make sure that the tire stays nice and tight up against the tire carrier, regardless of the width of your spare tire or the backspacing you're running. And that's a good thing. You want everything to be nice and tight so nothing's torquing around and you're not getting any metal fatigue. And it'll also help to keep the noise to a minimum. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a vertical adjustment or an up and down height adjustment. So if you're somebody who's running a 33 inch tire or maybe something around that size, this mount might make the tire look like it's mounted very high and it'll also get in the way of seeing out of the back of your window. If this was adjustable, you'd be able to put a 33 inch tire down nice and low to give you maximum viewing out of the back window. But if you're running a 37, which is the max tire size that you can run on this carrier, then you could put it up high enough to not have any clearance issues with the bumper. However, this isn't adjustable. As I mentioned before, there are some other tire carriers on the website that do have adjustable mounts from some of those other brands. So if you're interested in that option, make sure you take a look at those. So from a cost versus value perspective, I do think that you get a good bit of value out of this. I talked a lot about the features that this doesn't have, but this is also going to be significantly less expensive than a lot of the other bumper tire carrier combinations on the market. So this setup has its place. If you're on a budget or if you're just somebody who doesn't need or want a lot of those additional features, absolutely check out this tire carrier. This is a great option. For instance, there's something very, very similar from Rugged Ridge out there that is almost double the cost and it doesn't have any additional features. However, if you do want some additional features, there's everything from Barricade to Rugged Ridge, Smittybilt, and a lot of other brands that have tire carriers and bumper combinations that have additional features. However, you should be prepared to spend a little bit more on those options. Getting this bumper installed on your TJ or YJ is going to be a really simple process, and I would give it a one out of three wrenches. 
The first step is going to be removing your factory rear bumper, which is done by removing the six bolts that hold it to the frame rail and onto the rear cross member. Once the factory bumper is removed, you can go ahead and set your new rear bumper over the frame rails and attach it using the included hardware. Finally, you want to assemble your tire carrier and then slide it over the pivot on the rear bumper, finishing the installation. The whole installation won't take you more than an hour to finish and you won't need any specialty tools to get it done, just some sockets. So if you're looking for a simple bumper and tire carrier combination to take that larger, heavier spare tire off your tailgate and put it onto your tire carrier, this is a good option. This is no frills, it doesn't have a ton of adjustment or a ton of additional features, but it's a simple setup that just works and will save you a ton of money over those other options on the market. So that's my review of the Red Rock 4x4 Rock Crawler rear bumper with tire carrier fitting all 1987 to 2006 Wranglers that you can find right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.